success in practice further it was not made dry knowledge confined to the intellectual speculations of a few thinkers sitting in their forest hermitages it was a living thought driving our ancestors thinkers administrators merchants scientists artists and philosophers to reach distant lands carrying that message of world brotherhood wherever they stepped they taught the local people the spiritual and cultural values of life taught them the sciences of material prosperity as well and built up a homogeneous brotherhood of nations under their benign wings our hindu society strong self confident and self effulgent acted as the fulcrum of that far flung empire of the spirit our arms stretched as far as america on the one side that was long long before columbus discovered america and on the other side to china japan cambodia malaya siam indonesia and all the south east asian countries and right up to mongolia and siberia in the north our powerful political empire too spread over the south east areas and continued for 1400 years the shalendra empire alone flourishing for over 700 years standing as a powerful bulwark against chinese expansion during all these centuries there were neither uprisings by the local people nor their exterminations which would have been the inevitable result if there had been the slightest sign of domination or exploitation by a foreign people and a foreign culture on the contrary those people were grateful to us they adored our nation and longed to give up their mortal coils on the banks of ganga that stands in glowing contrast to the blood stained pages of the history of expansion of islam christianity and now communism and of the various world conquerors produced by other countries even to this day the basic life pattern of many of those people is hindu they bear hindu names we find so many hindu faces all over there proud of their hindu heritage even though many of them are now muslims by religion our society which has given rise to such great souls down their centuries each one of them a lustrous star on the horizon of world thought is still throwing up a host of luminaries right up to the present day such as shri ram krishna paramhansa who could identify himself not merely with the joys and sorrows of human beings but with all animate and inanimate objects as well when he saw a cow thrashed with a whip he shrieked with pain and red stripes were found on his back on another occasion a bullock grazing on a meadow left a bruised imprint of its hoof on his chest such is the extent of identification that our great teachers of the science of spirit have attained and preached